Hey guys, Sagma12 here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Windows 10 on how to disable the Xbox Game DVR feature. Now, if, you're, if you've been using Windows 10 and if you've been part of the Insider program, you know that this feature significantly you know, creates a lot of input lag and it really bogs down your games, especially if you're running a second, first, or third generation Intel processor, like I am. So if you're on a Sandy Bridge or Ivy Bridge or first generation processor, you're going to want to disable this feature. And it, pretty much what it does, I'm going to give a quick explanation of it, is it pretty much, when you're playing a game and you want, it like monitors your gameplay and it records or takes a screenshot of the last 30 seconds of gameplay. So it's kind of like the Xbox One's feature and the PlayStation 4's share button. It's pretty much the same thing, although now it comes pre-built into Windows 10. And for those of you that are going to upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, you know, you're going to be encountering this issue, especially if you're running older generation processors and you play a lot of games on your uh, machine. So what you're going to want to do to first disable this feature is you're going to want to go to the start menu, go to the Xbox app, and it should be here. If it's not here, then you go to all apps, you scroll all the way down, and it should be right here, all the way in the bottom, Xbox. So if it's not here, then you want to go down here in the start menu and find it there. You're going to open it. You're going to, you know, go to settings. Game DVR, and it, for you it should be on, but all you have to do is very simple. All you have to do is switch it off from here. And I already have it done because I did it a while ago, but yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. It's very, very easy. This issue, you know, this feature right here bogs down a lot of your resources. So if you're having a lot of frame rate problems or stuttering or input lag in your games and you're running Windows 10, you're going to want to disable this function. And if, if you have like a fourth or fifth generation Intel processor, I don't think this, this feature is going to be that much of an issue for you in terms of resources, because those processors are generally good in handling uh, a lot of resources. But the older generation, Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge, and even first generation Intel processors, you're going to want to disable this because it creates a lot of input lag. So that's pretty much the tutorial. I just wanted to give it to you guys because Windows 10 does release in two days on the 29th of July. And it is a free upgrade for Windows 7 and or 8 or 8.1 users. Now, I'm already running it because I'm part of the Insider program. So I upgraded a little bit early, about a month ago. And I've been running it ever since. It's really good. I like it. And I really recommend that you guys upgrade. But that's pretty much the tutorial for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy.